Hello everybody, Zero Fossil Fuel, and this is your Zero News Update for Sunday, October 4. I uh, just want to let everybody know that the regularly scheduled monthly broadcast on the first Tuesday of every month for the Zero Labs live broadcast is postponed from the 6th until the 13th of October. What we will do is instead hold the show the week following the Alternative Energy Expo. I hope to have some of the uh, exhibitors who were in attendance as well as some of the attendees in a live call-in session during my Ustream broadcast and have a hopefully lively discussion about the about the event that we hope to be a very big and well publicized event. The primary sponsor for the Alternative Energy Expo is Green Gas LLC and we thank Julio and Ephraim for putting so much effort into organizing this event and getting it all together. Uh, I just want everybody to know that uh, I still am using Twitter as my primary vehicle for disseminating um, quick updates as to what's going on in the lab and uh, with my uh, with my projects. I have found that there are a couple of pretty decent applications that will allow you to stay on top of uh, my messages in a fairly, uh, fairly efficient manner without too much burden on your computer. The first one is a product called Twitter Fox. It's just an add-on that goes to Fire, that adds on to Firefox. And if I send out an update while your browser is open, you will have an immediate update depending on how frequently your browser is checking for Twitter updates. So that's one way of, of following my uh, Twitter feed. My Twitter feed is also copied at altenergy.org. So if you want, you can just go to altenergy.org and see what my latest tweets have been. And lastly, there is a standalone application that I found pretty good. It's a product called Twiddle, also free. The only requirement is that you have the Microsoft.NET Framework version 3.5 installed on your Windows computer. Um, the application sits in your system tray and is not dependent on the browser being open. So uh, if, uh, if I send out a tweet, you'll always know what's going on. Quite a few people have been asking me about where I, where I stand with the development of the inverted T-cell. This is uh, right here a picture of the cell as it stands right now. I did have it in the car for a while. It's not really producing a whole lot of gas, so I didn't see a whole lot of difference in the, in the gas mileage, but I do hope to be able to drive this harder fairly soon. Um, I have regularly been able to get a MMW efficiency of 4.91, so that's, that's a reasonable, uh, reasonable efficiency for the cell so far. I still have to rebuild it, and I just don't have time to do that before the show, before the Alternative Energy Expo. In the meantime, I've been working on a couple of other projects as well. This, uh, I'm going to expand this for you. I'll go full screen so you get a better shot of that. This is a sketch that I've drawn of a membrane type shim cell that will collect the hydrogen and oxygen gases separately so that the hydrogen can be compressed safely for storage and, and use later in the day or whenever, whenever you're demand is highest for uh, the additional energy. Once again, I hope to see you all in Orlando for the Alternative Energy and Wellness Expo. And if you can't be there, I certainly will be there, hopefully broadcasting live and certainly recording for my YouTube channel. For more information on the event, please visit my calendar page at altenergy.org and there you will find links directly to the event sponsors and the event itself. So that's all for now. Zero Fossil Fuel signing out. Peace everyone.